said I would and I will. But I think great progress has been made and I hope that they can get one down here that I can sign so we can all go on to Christmas. Mr. President, what are you doing to stop the killing of unarmed Palestinians by the occupation troops? Um, 14 days in a row. No, I don't think that's a subject that I can take up here. Well, you are for human rights, aren't you? Hmm? You yes, are for, human, for rights. human rights. And you're not doing anything about it? <laughs> I didn't say that. I said this is a subject I don't think I should take up here. We've only got a few minutes here, and this matter is is very important too. So I don't think Mr. I should. Mr. President, what is the message to the markets if you and Congress can't come up with a deal? <coughs> if you can't negotiate a budget agreement after all this time, and the government has to shut down, what is the message to the world community? The world community? That we're tired of the kind of budget shenanigans that have been going on for seven years. That's the message. What's your response to Mr. Seymour? Okay. Mr. President, what's your response to Seymour's comments about ethics in government? Thank you. Now, he's kept his words to Congress that hasn't uh, done his job, so the President's in good shape. Do you think Congress will do its job? Uh, not much precedent if we're working on it. <laughs> 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 Made up. Negotiate a peace treaty. Yeah. 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 Mr. Vice President, are you guys speaking to each other? Yeah. Have you endorsed the treaty yet? Yeah. <laughs> Get your coffee at feet. your views and conclusions and any of them that you may have. 
Mr. President, we indicated last week, I think there are a number of Republicans who obviously support the treaty in principle. Some have, first of all, getting the treaty negotiated and signing it. And they indicate the general support. Now, some may have some. I know Pete Wilson has concerns. Others may have different concerns. But we're here to indicate that we want to be helpful in the ratification process. I think Dick Luger. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Let's take a couple seats. President, the Ambassador of Austria. Mr. Mr. Ambassador, welcome. Mr. Ambassador, welcome. My government. Well, thank you very much. And Mrs. Hurst? Hello there. It's a great pleasure to see you. Well, pleasure, pleasure to see you. Pleasure, a hostler like you. Ah. <laughs> and their daughter. Hello. 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 Do I sense an interest on your part in that? Oh, definitely. <laughs> 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 you and I will go over in front of the fireplace, exchange our documents, and then you will come in and join us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. President. We promise, I promise, that we will work in that direction with all my what I can. And I think we really did take the torch of the Statue of Liberty and have it on the Danube, and yes. we will keep it in life. Well, that's what it is. I think now if uh, no, we would come in and yeah, oh, yes. I think you were in the middle here. Tell me how it's all stuff. It's easy to do well. The, the Philip Pizzano was. Is he all right? Is uh, the stallion you got? Uh, yes. Uh, I think we really? named really? really? it in the uh, uh, Madeus. Yes. I, I put him there. Thank you. Yes, Bill has a Bill? fine yeah. ranch and a horse farm, so I thought that he would, wouldn't be as neglected as he would if I had to have him here. But he's got a great one. Uh, if you have any. Well, I, I told, I think Bill is uh, is doing that. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Next year, Mr. President, the donor of this uh, man uh, who donated my candidate, the president of the Game of Thrones, maybe there's a chance that he could see it or whatever, because he is a very great admirer of you. So yes, maybe, maybe uh, if it's possible. All 
right. I would like that. Yes. Tommy Cleston said you also like this. With regards to my predecessor, who was also great, my view already when he was. Oh, gentlemen, well, please, if you have a chance, give him my regards. I certainly shall tell her that. Yes. Yes, that's wonderful. The same to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and New Year to you. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. You too. Representative of the Marshall Islands, Mr. Kendall. Mr. President, Hello. welcome. Greeting. Pleased to see you. Mrs. Kendall and Lisa. Hello. You and I will go over in front of the fireplace and exchange our papers and then we to the It's been a one full year now of the relationship between our two countries that we value very highly. I know it's going to continue that way. Thank you. I bring, bring greetings uh, from the President of the Marshall Islands and my people. And we're very fortunate to be able to be received by you. Well, please give my, reg my regards to them. Would you come in now? I think if you were between us, it would be a nicer picture. The representative of Micronesia, well, Mr. Mariela. Welcome. It's a great pleasure to have the representative of the Federated States of Micronesia here. Thank you very much. My wife, Mariela. Nice to see you. And Sam Nelson. Hello there. Nice to see you. You and I will go over in front of the fireplace. Okay. And then after we've exchanged papers, and then you'll come in and join us. Oh. We have one full year of self government and association with us. And Believe me, we're, we're very proud and pleased with the relationship that we have between our two countries. Uh, and hope it will continue. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Now, mm -hmm. I think it'll be How do you want it, though? Here. Young man and not a gang. Thank you very much.